I had my first collaborative art show at the beauty shop. I played my first show at the beauty shop. I had my first solo art show at the beauty shop. February was colder still. What originally was our intention with the beauty shop was, you know, obviously to have a venue and then we discovered an art gallery. But more than that is to encourage the youth of Fairfield to, um, you know, get out and be creative and express themselves in a place where they can feel comfortable doing that. Some of our friends that we knew were musicians that weren't playing anywhere and we wanted to sort of peer pressure them in a good way to, you know, get out and play. We were just like, Steve, we should have a show. And so we did in like an office. Yeah! The floor was shaking, bouncing up and down. It was awesome. We inspire one another and we build on these projects and ideas and it drives people to do things they might not do if there wasn't this space. We were really inspired by um, sort of DIY, do-it-yourself spaces that were all age, all ages venues where it was, there was, it was substance free. We have music shows here, we have art shows here, there's a recording studio in the basement, there's an artist collective in another space in the basement. We have offered this as a rehearsal space to people. I feel really comfortable. I kind of started writing music um, on the East Coast and people are a lot more closed there so I never felt comfortable playing music. Youth get directed a lot and our approach is really more of that young people have inspiration and have passion and have things that they want to do. Our angle is to simply support those things. You just don't have that strictness that you do in school and you don't really have like guidelines that you have to follow. You can just come here and learn through other people that are really enjoying this, playing music or doing art or whatever they do. It just makes it more fun. If we were to have more resources and more money and everything like that, then we would definitely kind of diversify what we do and what the beauty shop is capable of doing. This is our current light rig. As you can see, it's about as precarious as we could possibly make it. Currently, we move this back and forth. We move this table back and forth when we need to do shows. So we, we'd really love to build a sound booth that was mobile back here. As you can see, the, the floor, we painted the floor just a few months ago and it just, it just gets so much use. We could start having, you know, we want to start having more classes. We want to teach. We want to. We have ideas for like a music band camp, and, and I think that with a jolt of money, we could take this space to that to that level where we could just start making money and sustaining ourselves. I started my first film series at the beauty shop. I'm Andrew Perry, and I'm starting a business about the beauty shop. I run a program for transitional slash community youth at the beauty shop. I say. Hi, I'm Julia, and I'm making a promotional video for the beauty shop. 